Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. On this video, we are going to talk about a detailed discussion of CS Executive Old Syllabus versus New Syllabus. There is a lot of confusion amongst all of you. Ma'am, we have just finished our CSCET. Should we enroll for Old Syllabus or the New Syllabus? I am going to like bust all your doubts and give you a detailed comparison on Old Syllabus and New Syllabus in this video. This is CS Shilpi Periwal and on this channel, we talk to all the CSCS CMA students and we come out with not just subject related videos, but tips, tricks and all the latest announcements. So do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you continue to receive all the video updates. Now coming back to the topic. Now we've just finished our CSET exams in Jan. Should we go for old syllabus and give one module in June? Or should we give both the modules and wait till December? Now, let me tell you one very big thing. The content difference, that is, what you are going to study in old syllabus versus what you will be studying in new syllabus is 95%. Yes, it is 95%. The change is in the number of subjects. Few subjects have been eliminated and uh, MCQ pattern has been changed and some shuffling of chapters in here and there in the subjects that's all about it so if you anyways have a plan to give only one module do not waste the june attempt enroll in the old syllabus itself for one module for june 23 and december 23 you can go for the next old module right see uh, by old module i mean the old syllabus see it's not like from december 23 only new syllabus will happen it's not like that the old syllabus also will continue to give exams till June 24, right? So, it is not like after, like from December 23 onwards, you will not have time to write under the old syllabus. It's not like that. So, if you anyways have plan for giving one module, immediately register yourself for CS Executive and give one module in June itself. However, if you are a very sincere student and you feel like I want to get a rank by giving both the modules together, then enroll yourself for the new syllabus, which will happen in December 23 only. Correct? If you had already given your CSET in November, <coughs> I had already told you not to waste one attempt and enroll for June 23. Now, in this video, we are going to do a detailed comparison of what exactly is the difference between the syllabus of 2017 and the syllabus of 22, the exam which we will be giving in December 23, the first attempt. So, let's see that. The old syllabus had, this is for CSET executive professional. In this video, we will be talking only about the CS executive part, right? So, see, the old syllabus had basically 8 papers. How many papers was there in CS executive old syllabus? 8 papers. In the new syllabus, how many papers will you have? Only, <coughs> only 7 papers. Here is the both the modules paper breakup. So, under group 1, you will have JIGL. It was the same for old syllabus also. Company law practice. The same company law paper was in the old syllabus also under module 1. Setting up of business, this subject's name has been changed. It was setting up of business entities and closure. Now, the name is setting up of business, industrial and labor laws because they have included this labor laws, in the, this labor laws and industrial laws have been introduced in this new syllabus. Old syllabus, it was closure of business entities where they spoke about closing of the companies that has been totally removed. Next subject is your Corporate Accounting and Financial Management. In this Corporate Accounting and Financial Management, this was a part of Module 2 in the old syllabus. This has actually been uh, like they have taken up two subjects and merged it into one subject. Capital Market Securities Law was a part of Group 2 only. Economic, Commercial and Labor Laws have now been changed to Economic, Commercial and industri Intellectual Property Laws. This is an amazing move by ICSI, intellectual property laws to be introduced to the executive level. Then tax laws and practice, initially it was 50-50 for direct tax, indirect tax, now they have made it 
So the basic thing is that now you have seven papers, four for module one and three for module two. Do go through this. See, what ICSI now is telling is that they want, what is the aim? Why has the syllabus been changed? See, whenever <coughs> ICSI changes syllabus, there has to be a reason, right? The reason over here is they want the students to be able to learn the laws and interpret it at the executive level itself. The grouping of papers under group 1 has been done, keeping in view the critical aspect of ease of learning. So basically, ICSI itself is telling you to appear for module 1 first. In fact, I, I used to say the same thing for the old syllabus also. There were a lot of people who used to appear module 2 first because that had two MCQ papers. But that is the wrong way to go about it. You should go for module 1 first because the subjects are such. JIGL, company law, it builds up your base for the CS profession. And then only you should move forward to module 2. And the same thing clearly has been told by ICSR now, now that go for module 1 first. Papers like JIGL setting up company law will give you a base for the entire CS profession. And that will help you to go for module 2. Very, very, very important change. The other one which has happened is in the old syllabus, you had five completely descriptive papers. Which five papers? JIGL, setting up company law, economic or EBCL and your SLCM papers. Law papers were completely descriptive, no MCQ. And the other three practical papers, tax accounts in your FMSM paper were completely MCQ papers with negative marking. Correct. So, um, this uh, people always had to like uh, treat the MCQ papers separately and descriptive papers separately. Now, the welcoming move is that except corporate accounting paper, which is fully descriptive, the other six papers, including all the five law papers and the tax paper, will have 20% MCQ. So, in fact, that is a very welcome move for a lot of students who feel that they lack in writing skills. Ma'am, we are not very great with writing skills. So, for you people, this is a great opportunity. Because if you study well, 20 marks MCQ can be sorted. You get 20 on that. Rest of the 80 marks of the paper, I am sure you can easily manage 30 to 35 marks even with a okay, okay writing skill. So, it is a very refreshing move on the part of ICSI that they have made 20% MCQ for all the papers except your accounts paper. Now, for students who were thinking that should we go for old module, new, uh, sorry, old syllabus or new syllabus, old syllabus has three fully MCQ papers. So, you can actually try attempting one module in your June attempt itself. Now, I would like to uh, go through the content of the papers and subject wise, let us see what is the change. See, most of you might <coughs> not be like aware of the chapters or what were the. So, most of you would not be aware of the chapters because if you are attempting CS for the first time, you would not know about what chapters were there in the old syllabus or new syllabus. So, that is the reason I am just giving you a basic comparison so that you understand that there is not much of a content change. Like the content more or less remains the same. So, starting from this paper uh, guys, your JIGL paper 1 which was there in old syllabus also. In JIGL, what does ICSI want from you? It wants a basic working knowledge from you. That's all. Now, we will study this in a way where you definitely get a much better knowledge than working, right? But in this paper, compared to old and new, there is no decrease as such. In fact, new syllabus, it has increased by a few chapters only, all right? This all content is the same, sources of law, constitution, interpretation of statutes, administrative law, thoughts, civil procedure, exactly the same as old syllabus. This chapter is basically have been merged, two chapters have been merged into this chapter, the uh, chapter 7 that is. Specifically was there in your EBCL paper of mo uh, module 2 in the old syllabus. Now they have put it into JIGL. 
then these chapters, all this is as the same as before. There is no reduction from the old syllabus. In fact, these chapters, chapter 16, 17, 18 and yeah, 16, 17, 18. Correct. All these chapters, your contract, sale of goods, negotiable instruments, they all were a part of EBCL which has been introduced to JIGL. So, technically JIGL has increased by a few chapters. <coughs> Company law, more or less, the effect is the same. They have removed a few chapters and they have introduced a few new chapters. Like say, for example, this was a part of setting up of business entities. Chapter 2 and through uh, 3 was in setting up of business entities. They have introduced it in company law. This all is the same. This all is absolutely the same as the old syllabus. This also has been introduced from setting up of business entities. <coughs> this chapter... Inspection, Inquiry, Investigation is a new add-on chapter but very much manageable. This all is the same as old syllabus. They have introduced this annual report concepts. Technically, it was 23 chapters. They have made it 19. They have introduced some, removed a few portions, got something from setting up of business entities. More or less, the content and the depth and the toughness remains similar to the old syllabus. Setting up of business entities, they've actually reduced a little bit. So, they have added up uh, these all chapters more or less were similar to the old syllabus. They had these chapters in the old syllabus also. They have removed the closure part completely. And this all chapters is the same thing. And they have introduced this industrial and labor laws. <laughs> this all is uh, some of the to topics are new. Some of the topics. So, in SBEC, actually, they have made it a little lighter. They have introduced some from here, removed the closure part. So, this has become a very nice and easy subject to go through. Corporate accounting and financial management, also the load has been reduced a little. They have combined accounting and FM. The strategic management part has been fully removed, which was there in your old syllabus. In this also, they have removed some costing and valuation part is what I have come to know from my faculties. They have removed some costing and valuation part. So, this is also a little better paper as in lighter compared to the old syllabus. Thus, it is a fully descriptive paper <coughs> and I feel that handling practical papers, it is always to, uh, it is easier to do it entirely descriptive rather than uh, having an MCQ pattern too. So, according to me, it is a very uh, welcome move. SLCM also, most of the topics remains the same. There is not a very major change. Of course, they have uh, like reduced some content and got some content from elsewhere. But the toughness and the depth more or less remains the same. Economic and commercial law, this all portions is same. <laughs> exactly same as the old syllabus. This first... Uh, 11 chapters to uh, first 14 chapters I would say the first 14 chapters is exactly the same some chapters which have been removed have gone to JIGL correct and this new thing has been introduced which is intellectual property laws for 40 marks patents trademarks copyrights industrial designs this is the new part and I feel it is a very welcoming move because industrial uh, sorry intellectual property rights is the new thing which is going to be the new the future, so it's good that it is being the executive level. It's coming to tax part. What I have come to know from my faculties is that for tax, it's exactly the same. There is not much major difference. Only difference is instead of 50 50, that is 50 direct and 50 indirect, they have made it 60 direct and 40 indirect. And another major change is instead of entire MCQ paper with negative marking, this is 20% MCQ and 80%. Practically. So, <coughs> this was your detailed analysis for what are the changes in the old syllabus and new syllabus. If you understand, there is this old syllabus, new syllabus is not a point even to consider if you should give your exam now or not. If you are ready for it, if you have cleared your CSET, just enroll for your module 1 for your June 23 exam and go ahead and give the exams. The basic difference is not the content, the basic difference is 20% MCQ and one paper is being produced. So, start studying and do not make any more excuses. If you want to know any other details, you can ask us in the comments box.
Thank you so much. If you found this video useful, do not forget to like and share it with your friends. Thank you.